Next up for our howler for an hour, we have Megabyte Punch. This is a game where you punch things and it's very actually and interesting and it looked fun. Actually, I think it's an older game. I think it's been out for a few years on Steam, but got a Switch release just recently, so. Let's give it a shot. Older does not mean bad, of course. Uh, wake up. That's a cool background. I am the hardcore, your creator. You, my creation, are a, are a megak. Me, me, megak? 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 I, I don't know, okay. I've called you to exist to aid the village where I reside. Two external forces will fight to harness my power, but the me, megaks of this village rely on me to survive. It's your mission to protect Ventu. Who's Ventu? Now it's time for you to learn. Okay. 2013, yeah, like I said, older game. But, all right, so. Let me down parts. That's fine. Jump is X. Okay. So this is... Right? A punchy game. But also a robot game. Hello, newborn. I see you need some basic mega act training to get around. Just continue this way and follow instructions. Do your best. Oh, fuck. I'm having that dialogue loop issue I sometimes have. Wall jump by pressing wave for the wall. Okay. Lost mega is just beyond here. This is a good chance to show your fighting skill. It's lost its it lost its soul, will attack you without holding back. The more damage a mega hack has, the further he will be knocked away. Eventually he will break into pieces. Try to find your punches to destroy it and get its part. Okay. Yay. Anyways, drop parts of bits. Collect bits to recover lives. Collect parts to get new abilities. Check out the parts in your inventory with Y. Attach to your chest with A. Okay. So what's this do? Launch. Launches you upwards in a controllable flight dealing into 8 damage. Can also be aimed down. Okay. No direction plus special. Oh, I see. Up a special makes the most sense to me. What is special? Ah. Figured it out. X speed and jump is kind of weird in my brain. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Got your lunch part ready. You can use this Billy up and B. Air attacks are very powerful, keep this in mind. Okay. Okay. So attack in midair to hold A a direction. Press A in the air. Hold the direction of yeah, well, yeah. This appar apparently anyways. I found a juggle. There we go. Yep, give me that. Alright, cool. Hey, here's the buttons to get a more comfortable setup. I wonder. No. I can look. I can look at the controls, but I can't change them. File advice. You can block text by pressing your shield with ZR. Careful though, don't hold too long or it'll break. I much prefer A being my jump on or B, not X. It's weird. But Z, I can perform a pelvic thrust. Oh, okay. I see. So it's a parry. Kind of. Pelvic thrust to victory. <laughs> 
This game very much reminds me of Custom Robo from the GameCube. I don't know what that is, but that sounds interesting. Alright, so here we are. Hi. I thought you were evil. Ah, you arrived! This is our home! Your home, and the home of the powerful hardcore of the wind. We're about a small village outside the Empire, but even still, the Empire has requested the youngest Magak... 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 Such a weird word. To accept a gift from them as a token of goodwill. This will be a first mission. Travel to the lost Megacopolis in level 2 and meet with the Imperial General. You might want to explore the new village a bit first. Just go up here, try to talk to the Megax. Alright. Mildly Smash Brothers. Yeah, I can see it. Hi, stranger. Feel free to destroy all the crates here in my home and grab all my bits. It is not that I need those bits to raise my little sprouts. Well, okay, as long as... Zwip? Zrop? Sprouts? Are they robot children? Okay. Well, I guess I'm... Since they're up for grabs. <laughs> Thanks, yo! I'm done talking to you. I have that pro- this game has that problem where you can- the moment you leave a, dex, a text box, you can immediately engage dialogue again. So it's good- it's very easy to accidentally skip and just have the dialogue box open again. Hey there, Moonwalk. This is your very own house will be empty for a while. We picked up a bit for you. If you're done looking around, as far as ask- yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Interest on the east end, okay. Home! I just randomly got a home. Custom Robo was cool, I miss it. Hmm. I'm curious about it. Oh, hey, look. Parts. I don't have any parts, but parts. Colors. Do I have colors? I do not have colors. I don't have any much of it. Oh, Mebo? Wait, what? Really? Um. Damn it. I have exactly one. That actually did something. Huh. Okay. Well, Wolf Link did this. <laughs> I don't actually have a Wolf Link Amiibo, but I have a card. Unofficial card, it's really cool. Um, what that. I think it's just a color scheme, but. No wolf link rope. That would be pretty cool. How do I get the items down there? Well, I guess. Let me, actually, let me. I wonder if it's like. So I wonder if it's like a. I wonder how they did it exactly. Is it always going to be the same color? It's not going to be the same color. It's random. I had a filling. So it doesn't really care what the amiibo is, it's just going to give me a random color. Which means I could technically anything I want. Oh. It's also really weird about scanning. It is really weird about scanning though. That's kinda cool. I just want to see what kind of color combinations I can get. Use any. Yep. And by exclusive, it basically means randomized. So you can get kind of whatever you want. There might be a limit, but... I was just hoping I could get something purple, that's all. <laughs> Or wonder what I'm doing. It's just cosmetic. It doesn't do anything for me. Is there no purple? Is that just not an existing color? Come on. It's a little purple. Okay, I'll go with that. That's a blue purple. I'll take it. Love those boxes down there. I could get them. Okay, so something about going east for the objective direction, but 
it's uh it's not here. Should have kept the green one. Eh. Why is this place creepy? Boo! Oh no. I'm scared. There's ghosts here. East is right. That's surely how that works, yes. Oh no, I can't. I can't. Boo. Yes, I can't. Yeah, I know. Th th thank you, but I'm trying to... Stop! <laughs> I can't break the crates where they're going. Boo! Hi, what's up? Ah, leave me alone! Oh, it's you, sorry. This house is high. It'd be better if you just leave this place and never come back. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. This doesn't activate dialogue. I'll just do this. Haunted robots! Oh, no! Hi, what's up? Boo! It's quite a bit of fun to scare people. There's no such thing as a Megat ghost, though. We found this rare color capsule in Frostbite Deep. I want it. So the pretend to be ghosts. That's cute. Ghost pretenders. I always hate when attackers also talk. I know, right? I'm having a, kind of an issue with that myself. I can't break it though. Well, that's just rude. <laughs> Aha! That was fairly evidently. That was fairly obviously something, something special, so. So, secret walls is a thing, good to know. Shop. As well, holding the detachment, yeah. Oh, there, me and my brother up here run this little shop. We are offering unique parts that might be useful in your battles or adventures. Every time you return to Victor Village, we'll invest in new parts and stuff. Okay, whatever. How much are they in? Oh, money. Just still for you. One, one second. There's no money here. Never mind. There was some money. Just take your time and look around. Okay. I would like that. Okay. Right. Extend arm. Damage up. Increases damage of all standard attacks by one. That seems pretty like a pretty logical purchase. Okay. Uh, shield engine. I probably won't use that that much. Increase all movement speed by 10% slightly increases jump pad height. That's expensive. Head. Increases damage to all standard attacks by one. Hmm. I'll buy the arm, sure. Okay. Oh. So it's just another color. Did, I stole for the shop. They had a color in stock, but I took it away. So, did we, so let's... We can actually go look at the colors. Hi. You're the new Megak, right? Welcome to the village. Have you seen your house yet? Very Zwap. It is? I don't know. It's pretty... It's only slight, slightly Zwap in my opinion, but... If you ran, I don't have to do all the boring chores anymore. Why is that? Oh god, you have to equip buffs. What's wrong with that? Oh god, the gameplay mechanic that makes sense. How scary. Oh, well that's way more up my style. I'll go with this color. Also, what's this? This is a uh, Megabyte Punch. Hmm. 
Hmm. I gotta look for secrets. Did you know that this is the Did You Know House? Swap! Did you know that there are 150 parts? And 30 hidden color capsules? Don't forget about the 151th part, Mew. Did you know that you can break parts into bits? Breaking a part with an ability will give you four bits. Oh. Oh, so instead of taking a part if I don't want it, I can break it with an ability. Bringing a part without an ability would give you two bits. Okay, so always use the ability then. Hmm. Did you know you can talk to us for info? Did you know you can't not talk to us if you're pressing A next to us? Did you know that you can win rare parts and extra bits in the tournament? Swap! Did you know that you can sprint when you double tap a direction? Swap! So you can. Did you know this version of the game has extra challenges? You unlock them by completing the story. Swap. So the Switch version actually has new content. You can use your shields R, S, R, or Z, R. You can hold your shield and use your attack button to attack out of your shield. That's to reflect projectiles when you shield at the right time. Ooh. Swap. Did you know that you will get one life back for every 64 bits you gather? So extra lives only work while you're at an adventure level. Back in the village, you have three lives again. Swap. Three lives. It is like Mega Man. Did you know you can control the direction you will bounce to by holding a direction? This can actually save you. Swap. Okay, <laughs> then did you know house? The 2.5D aspect and general movement reminds me of X8. That and the robots and... I mean, we don't have a gun, but otherwise it does feel like X8. It feels like a Mega Man game quite a bit, actually. Are you looking for something? Mur -mur 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 -mur. I don't know. Is there something to look for? Hmm. You know what? Actually, if I if I I can buy the, I can buy one more thing for the shop in a second. Well, I can buy the shield upgrade if I care about it. I admittedly don't care that much about it, but hi. Let me tell you something interesting. Somewhere in this world lies a powerful part away in the serving Mikak. Find three flowers, and they will show you not the entrance but the path. Although that might be too high a concept for you to grasp. Three flowers, huh? Okay. Keep an eye out for a pattern of three flowers, some uh, guys. <laughs> All it needs is the takeout mechanic. What? Oh yeah, because did that didn't have that, didn't it? So uh, what's we got here? Oh, hello. Love it. Welcome to the mini Magac Clubhouse. Swap. Thanks. Oh god, they all say the same thing. I bet you one of them says something different, though. I just have to find them. This game is slightly silly, and I like that. Alright, spread out, you. Those guys all said the same thing. What is the fucking point of this place? There's nothing here, by the way. So I know I made with repeats of the same NPC, I suppose. Oh yeah, I was already here. Though... But, eh, that would probably be the next one I get. I want to buy it, but I can't. So I guess I'll steal your money. Again. Oh, he doesn't have money this time. I stole it already. Because it, I guess, does it come back? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Hi. 
Day one, I was assigned to this guard tower. The wind is harsh, but I feel like I can hang on. Tell me about day two. I want to hear a diary entries. Help if I'm curious. Nope. Movement's really good, actually. Hi. Level 2 is just ahead. It actually got blocked off while I was moving dirt. If only I had a drill part. I know Boulder has one, but he lives past electric caves at level 1. Did you do, a, do me a favor and ask him for me? Alright, random side quest. Or rather, random. Main quest to get to the, the open where I need to go, I guess. Uh, the door door? The door door? Door door. The door door. Okay. Hmm. Door door. All the parts of your inventory will be, are transferred to your collection. So attach the parts you want to keep. Oh, okay. Gotcha. In other words, you lose any unequipped parts, I guess? Right, stage one. Hello, Tatsy Robot. I'm gonna punch you now. Whoa, it's gone! What do you guys say about Smash? Um, yeah, kind of. Holy fuck. Oh, there's some bits. The other one probably dropped bits too, but who know who the fuck knows where he went? Oh. You have to use, I'm getting used to these wall jump mechanics, they're a bit odd. So I don't have to press anything to oh. Any other quick parts don't come with you, but you keep them. They don't come with you, but you keep. That's weird. Well, let's see what we got. Ahead. Oh, we don't have any parts right now. In your home and storage. Oh, okay. We don't have any parts right now, though. Let's see here. Uh, instantly this place to you in a desired direction releases a static charge until I don't really understand, but okay. Oh, wait, no, we still have the hmm. I guess down special. Oh, wait, can these be combined? Probably. You can combine these. Okay, cool. Granted, it's a little hard because I gotta press down and then immediately press up again really fast. In your home, your storage. I get that, but like. I get what you mean, but like. I had stuff equipped from my home. I went into the stage and I had no. I had nothing. Nothing I just had equipped came with me in the stage, except for it did. I'm kinda confused by this, actually. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, select part. Oh, wait, no. No? Hmm. I have the abilities. I kept- oh god. Okay, well, that guy really wants to kill me. That's nice, dude. I'll just, uh... Hit. So I'm, I'm a little confused how parts equip because I guess you don't keep parts in the stages. You have list parts you say at the time of year level. You only take actively equipped parts. Is that? But I, I thought I actively did have. Wait, maybe the tutorial parts didn't stick with me. 
Oh, which means I didn't keep... Oh, they went... I bet the parts I got in the uh, tutorial went to the collection and I didn't equip, equip them there, so I started with nothing in this area. I, I'm guessing. I'm just complaining because I bought a I bought an attack upgrade. I don't have it. Um. You're blind. It's on you. Oh, it is? Alright, where's my fist upgrade? Oh, wait, I get it. I have to go to parts, don't I? Ah ha ha! I see. It is on me, it just doesn't show up on the attached part list because that's only parts I don't have equipped. Okay. Alright. It's less blind and more not checking the right menu. What? I... What? What did I just... How did ground break? <laughs> what? What just... How did I do that? <laughs> Weird. Or did the robot... Maybe the robot did that, actually. The enemy broke it. That was a weird... I wasn't expecting that. Oh god. Oh shit. <laughs> what I'm a little confused about is I'm collecting damage as well, so I wonder when I die. I don't actually know when I die. Look, a little leery about that. I think all the walls here are breakable, but how? How's the question? How do I break the walls myself? Let's see here. Core. Launch it upwards. Oh, that's not what I'm already using, right? Okay, that's weird. Cause like, if I go into the parts list, I have a core. Color killer jig core. So if I attach part, I already have a So that just switches it out, I guess. Yeah. What? no, what? Wait, what? Two? What do you mean two? <laughs> Wait, what? I'm now very perplexed. Tutorial. Tutorial didn't explain the part system too well. Okay. Slower and salvage. Yeah, I'm gonna salvage stuff. Hold on. Sired leg. Most considered useless. College of core. Sired head. Yeah. Break everything into bits now, just so I don't stop being confused. All right. I I I admit to being kind of stupid, but I also think that it's fair to say that this system could be designed a little bit better. Radio menus are usually very efficient, but this is just kind of weird. Oh, it looks like when I smash into walls, that's how I possibly break walls. Interesting. That is probably a mechanic to get into certain areas. Maybe I can get duplicates. You can, I just had two of the same core. That's why I was confused by the two. Oh, alright, let's do it. Hello. How the fuck did you- okay. There we go. That's a good game! It's just, uh, kind of confusing inventory system, that's all. I'm starting to understand it now. Uh, Mega Core, shield life up, increase the shield life. But like... Head. Head that makes me stronger. Attach. Also closes out of the menu every time I equip something, which also throws me off. Here's another. Oh, actually, here's another problem. Like this head, if I want to replace a head here, that switches it out, right? 
So if I'm switching out a part, wouldn't it be nice to see both parts so I can compare them? Just thought. Anyways, yeah, I'll use this for damage, sure. Then this is shield life, this withstand more damage basis for us. So what does that rep Yeah, like, for instance, I don't remember what the other core does. I think that's the one that gives me a boost. So I don't want to use this. Because the only way I can check is I have to go down to parts and look at my part. So yeah, I, I don't I don't feel bad in saying that this is kind of a bad UI for the part system. Can you not place the head somewhere else? Uh... On golf. See how the see how there's a, see how the head has a lighter color and the other body parts are darker. That indicates where you can place things. So yeah, I want to keep my rocket boost. I like it. It's actually quite a useful little cheese tool. leg move speed up increase all movement speed by 10 percent so here's the thing here's a here's an example of why i have a trouble this is, okay so like that i can tell i have a leg equipped there but like it was hard to remember which leg has has which part so like just remember i don't know this is it definitely is not a great menu for this for the part system especially considering it's something i'm going to revisit a lot but how did you before have a rocket boost of a head that was a bug though the, the head has a rocket boost function that's what the head does look um, no, actually, no, wait, hold on. The rocket boost is the core. You may have mistaken that for a head because it has a head-like shape. That's suspicious. The telly was the head. Yeah, the head was the telly. Come over here, I need to try something. Come here. Thank you. Very obliging. Oh, what? That's right. Ow. Darn. Well, worth a shot. It's because I was thinking, I'll slam into the ground, see if I can, uh... That indicates to me that my damage threshold is dangerous at this point. Okay, that broke. I don't understand, actually. What I meant before is he actually unequipped the core of the Brock boost and instead there was a head part. Mm, no, I think it was just something else. But off, that was off to the side. I'm pretty sure that in that topic you're the one confused. Sorry to say. Um. Oh, extra jump. What's my current head do again? More damage. And movement speed. Oh, actually no, just damage. I like jumps though. Hmm. Hold on to it. That's what I'm gonna do. Also breaks this into bits. I guess. Actually, what's that head part do? It has a stat. Oh, is this a teleport head, right? I'm gonna keep that. I'll keep the make for because it it's interesting. Soundtrack's good, yeah. Definitely agree. I'm gonna keep the double jump thing around in case I need it, but... This must be forward progress. Uh... Ow. Ow! 
know what? I've elected to do something. There. Much easier to use this way. Seems an effective strategy to attack. Okay, that. Hmm. Technically, it's a triple jump. Yes, it is. I've learned an AI pattern that keeps me safe. I can break walls except for when I want to break them. I can't do it, but when I don't need to break a wall, I do it. <laughs> Let's see here. Mana bite leg, horizontal dash, dealing damage with downward knockback. That's fine. I don't need that. Valuable treasure. I'm gonna just get with the yeah. These valuable treasure heads. I'm gonna hold on to them. Well, at least just one of them. If I get more, I'll yeah. Some of these are just literally for bits. I do notice that it says this part's not your inner collection, so maybe I shouldn't break down everything. Maybe I should add things to collection and then break down duplicates. But what if you need to charge jump more? You have to swap back up right. I would. Well, I mean, no, not necessarily, because watch. Let me demonstrate. You have to hold down and press the special button to activate the ability. At that point, you have a choice of aiming it up or down. There's a moment. There's a moment before the move starts. So I can I can still aim it up. It just makes it more easy. It makes it easier to aim it in a certain direction. But uh, in this case, I want to aim it down easier. Oh shit! Aiming down is a much better idea because I can do that. I want to do hit and run tactics. So. Oh shit! Oh shit! Especially these these guys like to jump after me, so you know, good way of dealing with them, since they're gonna walk into my attacks. Uh, let's see, movement speed. See, I don't need that again because I already have that. I have two of those equipped, so break that into bits. Uh, what else? There's tiny wings. Okay. Oops. Let's see. So I probably picked up. All right. Because the bits don't disappear, considering they immediately just spawn around me while I'm working on possibly breaking other things down. So wasn't sure if I would be in trouble there with them disappearing on me. It looks like not. And yes, I am doing a bit of backtracking. I think I have loops. No. Nope. Yeah. Oh, oh, what did I just get? Oh, another mega core. Uh, let's. That. Okay. Oh, items. How do I wait? Okay. I want that stuff. I like this game. It's just that this UI system is not well designed. That's all. I'm going to assume that I can't get that item because I need to break through the ground or something. Seems like it. That's a shame. So yeah, breaking the ground is necessary to get some stuff. I think the ground break is weird. So I can't always rely on the fact that I'm doing it correctly. Like, sometimes when I... It, it does seem fairly reliable, but that one time when I was trying to break the ground, I wasn't able to do it. Using a robot, that is. So I don't really know. Were you still here to get a drill? Yeah, I was, actually. Good point. Yeah, just these robots are so obliging to get into my attack. Most of the time, I don't miss. 
as they're trying to come after me. And if they, if they don't, if I don't kill them, it's fine because they usually are so confused. This works out pretty well, actually. He has an effective stra attack strategy. Oh no! Ha! <laughs> Good counter! <laughs> Credit for Chris, too. That guy knows how to deal with me. Shit. But however, if he's double jump, he can't do that, I don't think. So. Hello? Oh, who are you? Oh, well, whatever. Okay. Oh, well, you're not. You're not alive. So it doesn't really matter to me. Um, yes, I guess we just gotta break walls here and there. Which again, drill will probably do it. Okay, I'm guessing that's the end. I think I missed a path though. May as well go back just since killing things gives me items. I don't like the wall jump. I kind of wish I could actually hit the jump under wall jump, but it's, it's all directional base, which feels weird. This is the way forward, okay. Come down here. Okay, thank you. There's a door I need to take. Okay, in that case, what's... I should keep going the other way then. I was I, I thought the pass would connect up again, but it does not seem that they did that. All right. There was an option for wall jumping in the options, was there? Wall jump with jump button. Oh, fair enough. Good observation. So now can I? Get, yeah, good, good, good. Alternate path? Maybe. Let's go this way. Let's keep going this way. It did go further, I just didn't... That's much more comfortable. What's down here? Ah, I should have just gone a little further, clearly. A lot of money and a color! Okay. Let's look at our parts. Uh, we got some new parts, so let's see here. First off, let's break it a bit to anything that's not important. Actually, it's not our collection, let's keep a hold of it, now that I think about it. Damage up, increase damage all standard attacks by one. Huh. Is that what I'm already using? Yeah. Let's see, what else do we get? A melee attack with decent range, deals 12 damage. You don't say. Oh, well, Scythe plus special. Yeah, this, this UI is bad, though, especially considering it makes me leave the menu each time, which confuses my brain a lot. Ooh. Okay, FYI, guys, I hope um, everything's fine. I had the lights flicker here. So, please let me know if I... Well, granted, if I drop connection, I may not know. Maybe I should pull up my phone just to be safe. I shouldn't lose connection, hopefully, but... Hi, guys. You're still alive, thank goodness. Yeah, a little light, light, light flickers have happened before. I don't really know what causes it. It may be an... Wait a minute. Guys! Question. Did I break some things into bits? And then those bits disappear before I left the menu? This system sucks. <laughs>
Like, every, the gameplay is fine, but the UI choices, man. Okay, hold on a second. Did I, oh, I did pick them up? Oh, never mind. They sat there? Okay, I thought they, I thought they, I thought they spawned. Alright, let's, uh, anyways, uh, sorry for the distraction. Let's see here. No, select the, okay. Scythe Claw. Mandibite leg. Oh, wait, that's the Mandibite leg, right? I want to save the movement legs. I can break one. Well. Yeah, let's break one of these. Um. Trying to play spooky lights. Yeah, well, it just made me concerned. It's probably fine. Okay. Yeah, so it's weird because I really do like the gameplay. It's fun. But, uh, the menu makes me feel sad. You know? <laughs> Admittedly, I, I'm. There's some. There is some charm stupidity going on, but, like,. Overall, it's just not a good menu system. <laughs> every time I every time I switch out a part, it leaves the menu entirely. So if I'm trying to switch on multiple parts, I have to go back in. When I break parts, it just doesn't leave the menu, which is weird by comparison. And if I want to compare parts, I have to go to different min sections of the menu. It's all poorly designed. I don't know what they were thinking. It's like they have a radio menu. Also, the radio menu makes no sense. Normally, a menu is for a quick select while in the middle of combat or something in the game. It doesn't really serve that purpose here. Oh. Oh, that's a bomb. Okay. It's aesthetic in, in a bad way, unfortunately. Oh, thanks for breaking that for me. At least the money doesn't seem to disappear or anything. Where am I going? I'm gonna assume levels are randomly generated. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. Oh, the parts left the inventory. So after each level, I guess. So what do we got here? Dills not smacks opponents upward, dealing 16 damage. That sounds like fun. Let me examine my parts real fast. I need to attack different ranges for damage. Isn't that? Let's test that out, actually. Okay, cool. And uh, what's the other part do? This one. Increase all damage of all standard attacks by one. Right. So 12 damage. Or... An uppercut. Admittedly, I kind of would like both, but I, I also want to keep the extra damage. I'll try the uppercut out. It sounds like it's powerful. I see you down there. Let's take the intended path for a sec. Oh, it's bombs everywhere. They just want me to explode my way through things. Got it. Oh shit. Oops. Well, okay. I mean, that's pretty fun to use, let's be honest. Also, I can one-shot those little guys. <laughs> That's pretty good. You know what? Excuse me. Oh shit. I'm fine. Somehow I didn't take as much damage for that as I... I was gonna hit it and leave, but uh... I figured that would kill the enemy. Did not intend to be in the blast range, but whatever.
How much does Thunderpaw cost? Thunderpaw? What's Thunderpaw? Uh. Yeah. That's how I should have done it the first time. This is my hole, you can't have it. All right. This is pretty fun, though. Come here. Yeah, I, even that, that uppercut, well, maybe sh technically short range, it, man, it's good for juggling. Wasn't the one of the games I saw you play? Thunderpaw, Thunderpaw. Are you thinking of that one Switch game I played that involved a lot of punching? Oh, shit. I think punching is good. I think Punchy is pretty good. I think Punchy is working out pretty well for me. Oh shit. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Thunderpaw. Oh wait, no, that was the bad, that was the bad dog game. See you later. Shit. Come here. Come here. Bye. Whatever your money went. There it is. Yeah, no, we got to the second to last boss, and I got fucking pissed off and left. Stop playing it. But simply. Oh, okay, cool. Inventory full. Alright. I guess that's a thing. Oh, you know what, actually? The only thing is the break it a bits video does not tell you what they do. Okay. Let's be very careful what I break. This part is in your collection, I'll break it. This part's in your collection. Break it. This part's in your collection. Yeah, whatever. Just catch part. Uh, currently using the launch and yeah, color, color jet. What is this one? Another color jet. Okay. You also don't get the name of the item while you're breaking into bits. A blast boom output device. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, I'll leave this alone. So blast the ball of energy. Oh, a blaster, you say? I'm intrigued. Ah, uh, which one is which, though? The Pitsy spawn? You motherfucker, you said. Ah. Oh. Okay, so, so somebody said it earlier that they didn't despawn and I picked them up when I left the inventory. Nope. So I was in the middle of organizing there and they just. Yeah, this is a really good system. I love how the I love how when I just break down an item, I don't just immediately get the money. That's really great. That was a lot of money too. That's nice. I thought I didn't. Well, now we proved otherwise. 
What is this fucking UI system? I'm actually kind of upset. <laughs> a UI that can upset me, that, that's a bit of an accomplishment. I mean, was that- do you guys consider that my fault? <laughs> I don't think it's that my fault. How do I... I blame the game. Yeah, I agree. Like, why- I'm breaking down an item so I can get money. Why doesn't it just put it in my fucking bank- like, my wallet? Like, why does it make it so I have to pick it up first? I mean, yeah, I know for next time, yeah, but like, it's still dumb. Also, hold on a minute. Boom bastard, attach part. Yeah, it's attached there. And Oh, it's like a special, okay. Um, I just wanna see something. Okay. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Uh. That makes more sense. I don't know if I want the damage boost or if I want the blaster. Blaster could be useful in some situations, so. No for next time. Honestly, I'm kinda, kinda glad I tested it in a way. Why is there a hole here? Oh, that's right, because I killed somebody up there. <laughs> Realizing also with the convolute. Poor design choice cripple gave it the devs get careless. The campaigns are chaotic enough as it is. Well, the menu was not enjoyable in the. Oh, no. Nope. Hold on a minute. You know, I think I've learned something. I don't like the blaster. It stops me in my place and it's limited and. Nah. I'll take the damage. I'll definitely take the damage. So I think I'll move the arm back to... I actually liked it going left. That was... Even though it's an uppercut, it's kind of nice there. Come here. Wow, yeah, nothing can stand up to that. That really increases A attacks, not the uppercut. Does it not? Hold on. Standard attacks, oh good point. Uppercut's still insane though, so it doesn't really matter. I would like, in case I need to do a combo. That is a good point though. Because it doesn't say standard attacks, so. But yeah, there's a lot of problems with the UI, as I've uh, kind of kind of compiled and addressed at this point. I guess the most perplexing thing is considering how tight the gameplay actually is. I'm a little confused why the devs even made these mistakes, made these mistakes, then, I guess, or decisions, because everything else feels well composed and like it plays great. So I don't know why that would be so sloppy, that one. I guess maybe it's the simple fact that they didn't really realize it was important. Oh fuck. I couldn't attack for some reason. There we go. Wow, that uppercut- that uppercut lasts a long time. Like, I didn't think those other two would die to it, but they did. The uppercut's, the uppercut's duration for its hurt box is actually quite long. So I could just be standing there with my fist in the air, this enemy walks up to me and they're getting hit by that. They're both doing the same thing to each other. So yeah, I, I, I would, I'm gonna, I can already tell you, this game is enjoyable and fun, but man, you have to have a bit of patience with the UI. Definitely. Well, that's a new path I made. <laughs> All right. Uh. 
I think the uppercut's the only move I need, though. So, hey. And yes, I'm kind of trying to explore and kill things. I don't need to kill everything, but... Why not? Kill as many things as I can. Oh, you know what? I'm actually to testing. See that part there I left on the ground? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I knew. I was gonna say it's. It, I should test to see if parts despawn, but. Oh, that's a howler. Um, let's see. I got a mega shoulder, by the way. Subjects one damage roll, received attacks. Okay, but I currently have on my shoulder. Nothing interesting. All right, we'll put it on. All right, let's see here. Way too many of these, of course. Um, it's a cool shoulder. Yes, it is. Uh, let me. I'm not done breaking things to bits, but now that we know, you know. I'm gonna break all these, yeah. Fuck! Okay, well, that's fine, whatever. <laughs> I have two of them, so it doesn't actually matter. Uh, observation! I was gonna try to break. Okay, I don't know if anybody knows what just happened there. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna lose those. One second. I don't know if anybody knows what just happened there, but I just found another issue with the UI. So I have three I have three core parts. They are all common cores. I didn't need any of them. I was gonna break them all back to back. But the moment I broke the first one, the menu decided to reset back to the fist, so I broke the fist. Cool. You know, you could just stay on the stack, you know, but whatever. It's fine. At least I broke the fist, because I, I have another one, technically. It's in my hand, so it is my hand rather. So that's fine, whatever. But if that was the if that was my only uppercut fist, I would have been a little bit pissed because it's a good move. Oh, there's an item. Okay, apparently parts don't disappear because there was that was a say there. Oh shit, 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 shit. shit. Okay, devs, great. I really do think your game's pretty solid, but like, what is this UI though? What have you done? What have you done to create an AI, a, a UI like this? It's like a different developer entirely in charge of the UI and he fucking sucked at his job or something. Oh god. That <laughs> one robot! Did you see that one robot? That's pretty good. Oh shit. Oh, hi, everybody. How's it going? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna. Well, that part went down there. I'll get it later. And also, went down there. <laughs> Reminds me a bit of Custom Robo. I don't know what this Custom Robo is. Car mission it too. I don't know anything about it. Tell me more. Yeah, I'm not even gonna check my inventory before I fill it up from now on. Okay, let's keep progressing. Game you game about mixing swine parts and finding other mixed parts for robots. Oh, so it's fun. I guess these guys can't drop through platforms. Interesting.
Metabots! Yeah, they kind of look like that, actually. I remember those. Next. Next. Alright, what we get? Mana Bite Wing, movement speed up, increase all movement speed by 10, and slightly increase jump height. Not can control flight, but some make more old air. Okay, what is that attached to? Shoulder? Oh, what is my current shoulder? Subtract damage? Yeah, I'll, I'll take the I'll take the wings. Hey. Alright, let's see us. Uh, monkey tail. Grants an extra jump. Sure, why not? I don't think I have, even have anything in that slot. Yeah, it's just a standard hip. Okay, let's very carefully break a few things. That. 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 Okay. Right. I still got way more mobile. Wow, okay. Nice. Hey, look at this small Billy. Goodness. Alright. Let's go on. Let's go to the next door. How many sections are there, you think, for to an area? I guess three, maybe? Alright. We gotta finish the stage set, right? Bye. Oh, you're not dead. And that didn't kill you. Okay. Well. Go to next four? Wait, what four? I'm just gonna pick a direction to go for from now on. My backtrack still, though. I think it wants me to go up. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Learn a lesson. If you hit a bomb with a special, it immediately explodes. Okay. Good to No idea where that little guy went. <laughs> Hi. Oh, nice dog. He actually got me. I'm in a pit, now you can't defeat me. Okay, well, ow. Stop hurting me and prove me slightly wrong. I think I found forward progress. One second. I'm gonna do a bunch of backtracking now. Take a different path, too. My lives went back to. Huh, this is actually a good point. Went back down when I ended the stage, I guess. Wait, wait. Went back down to. Yeah, I guess I just got a fourth one, huh? Quite a crevice I made there. 
Oh, hi there. Temporary resource for the stage. Yeah, that's basically what it's being used for. We'll see that guy in three years. Right. I have 69 damage, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, this, gets, this game gets an extension because I was... Oh, because the state... We gotta finish the stage set. Because I think if I quit out here, I'm going to just effectively lose progress, so... We're gonna keep going for a bit. Because this game does feel like something that might be a thing I attract back to. Uh, after the Haller is over. Another time. And if that's the case, I would prefer to save the progress. Come back. <laughs> the only problem with the uppercut is not, not the best. Oh my gosh. Okay. Not the best range on it, but that's alright. What about over here, though? That was probably one of those situations where I was supposed to knock the little robot into that. It seems like the little robots are the best. It's based on velocity, whether or not you break the grounds. It seems like it seems like the little robots always have max velocity, so... Smart thing would have been to knock him into it, but oh well, whatever. Uh, yeah? What's up, Ultra? This guy's has my lethal leg lead plays and switch. Interesting. Uh, nothing. Then why did you say, uh? <laughs> I'm kind of curious what you're thought, what you're about. Were you gonna say something? Maybe they're also saying that. Well, I did kind of refer. Oh gosh, well there it goes. Is there anything up here? Yeah, actually. I was gonna say, is the screen gonna zoom out at some point? Okay. No. Oh. Okay, I had a little trouble game to me, didn't he? Yeah, due to the bad UI design, I'm not gonna mess with parts until like the end. Oh, hello, opportunity. There we go. Pop up the robots for me, that works out pretty well. Also, I'm kind of rich at this point. Oh, there's the door. Okay. Cool. Bounce really weird. Bounce really weird. I like how you just fall and forget where you are. I mean, the way the level design works, and the considering there's no map, I don't find that difficult. No. Checkpoint right six. The ending. That's odd. You could call it odd, or I could, or you could call it. 
evidence that this is probably a randomly generated terrain, and that's why. Alright, I think I'm pretty much done here. Let's see what goodies we got. Shall we? I'm gonna do that in a flat area, because all the money goes over. Right, so I got a ton of cores I don't need. Okay, let's just start by breaking everything that I already have had in, into... Look at that! I broke two and then it moved to another part. That's so weird. God, that's confusing. Alright, let's grab some money. Like, it, left, it stayed on it for two... It's, I had four. I broke one, it stayed on that. I broke it again into two. And then it's randomly switched to another. This is so weird. Look, three and switches. Okay, two. Yeah, whoever designed this UI system needs to fucking stop. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have to keep take backing out too, because you know, parts in your collection. Parts in your collection. Yeah. And this is not new. This is this is new. Okay, what is this? Damage increase the damage of all standard attacks by one. Okay. Is that it's an arm. Increase damage of all standard attacks by one. Wait. They're, they're identical. This one looks cooler, I guess, so sure. Pause the check after any arena fight. True. True. All right, let's go. Hi. Warlord Boulder! Oh yeah, we were talking about that guy. So you made it to my hideout. And you want one of my drill parts, right? Well, I'll make you a deal. I'll give you your part if you can beat me before I drill your face off. Okay. Fuck, hold on. Oh, you're right. Okay, hold on. Oh shit. That's death! That is that is actually death. I was not okay, we are literally playing Smash now. I got it. Gotta change my method of play then. If I change my method of play, I mean, do the same thing but be more aggressive about it. Okay, there. Got a drill arm. Oh, I have to equip. It's a drill arm though, so if I want to use it, I have to equip it. Up smash, be like, fuck you. <laughs> To be fair, this is actually kind of how I played Smash a lot of times. I can now I can break walls if I want to equip a fucking if I want to equip it though. If I want to equip it to an arm, I, I can do that. I don't really want to. I'll be honest. My current setup is fine. Congratulations, Charm, I guess. So... So passionate. So dedicated to statement. I'm gonna try something, by the way. I have three jumps. Well, let's go in here. But is it needed for progression? I mean... Maybe I'll equip it, break the thing, and then go back out and equip it. What you got? Uh-huh. Also, center attacks. Are you sure that doesn't mean my special? I guess. I already have one of these. Maybe I should just hold on to the mic for things that actually matter to me. The uppercut is not a special. Is it, though? Because I use it on the special will. Wait, I hit something just there. That was weird. I derped. It's okay. 
Also, I already have that head, so. I'll try something, though. If I wasn't so slippery, hold on. Surprisingly hard to land on small objects. Whoops, ah, whatever. I lost interest in trying to break out of the level. Hi. You're back, did you get a drill? Try using different directions, swap. Yeah, yeah, I know. Fine, I'll go equip the drill. Might as well at least do this first, and then I'll quit, because I know we're at the uh, time limit for this game, obviously. Oh, thank you for the follow. Much damage average does not increase special damage. Yeah, makes sense. What? Um. Oh, whoops. I didn't open it correctly. <laughs> Let's see. Drill arm, sure. Part downloaded, thanks. Ah, okay. Oh, download is in, I can just put it in my... Okay, that's fine, because I can just swap it now. That, that works. I'm sorry? <laughs> Did I not put it in my inventory just a moment ago? Try that again. Said part down and everything. You went through a door. Oh fuck's sake. The village doesn't count as wait, is that really it? Uh... Wait, I don't have it okay. Right, gonna temporarily remove my uppercut. I'll come back for it. Alright, game, cool. Don't let me keep it outside the- why, why am I moving so fast? Oh, because I'm running. Well, sure, that works. There, it's open. Now let me go fit my- actually, let's make sure there's nothing else to drill. No. Okay. Again, what- here's the thing. This is all the village, right? Why in the ever-living fuck? When I go to a new level, I'll lose all my equipment anyway, so why in the ever-living fuck can I just carry a couple things in my inventory in the village? Why can't I? Like, you know? This is just the fucking story area. It's not a big deal. Or at least it shouldn't be. Yeah, good game, but I wonder who the f what the fuck was going on with the UI design in general just... Yeah, it's so weird. Like, why would you make such a competent combat system but mix it with... Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> also, I... Why do I have two fists all of a sudden? Let's ignore that. I don't know how I got two fists, but okay. But also, cool, I have to bring the drill arm into the next level. That's... I mean, it's not useless, it's just... How much damage does it do? Two, four hits of two damage, so it does eight damage. Meanwhile, Mega Fist does 16, so... <sighs> Alright. Alright, game. Like, it's so weird, because there's so much here that could be enjoyed, but my goodness. It's really trying its best to be annoying. Like, it's so, it's so funny. This would be so simple with just a few UI tweaks, and it, I guess a, a, one tweak on the village here that you keep equipment in your inventory. Instead of just losing it the while you leave the door. Keep in mind, that equipment is 
quote unquote downloaded so I can get more copies, but. There, sheesh. I'm not actually gonna play level two, but I'm glad I actually went to the trouble of getting to level two so we can see that little adjustment. So yeah, it's it's fun, but there's some really stupid design decisions with the UI and just the kind of ease of use, I guess you could say. Which makes it hard to understand. It makes me it makes it hard to know what to recommend with this game. It's fun, but you have to tolerate a UI that you constantly have to interact with. Keep in mind that not only the, any equipment I take from save section to save session gets lost. So I, I gotta either I either gotta if I if I have anything to scrap, I need to scrap it, or I will lose it, lose the ability to get money off of it. So I have to constantly be scrapping in addition to constantly uh, checking equipment and seeing if I want to replace one piece of equipment with another, which I can't do effectively since. When you're equipping equipment, you can't compare the stats of what you're equipping to the equipment you have on you, which is a basic fucking function that most RPGs and other games of equipable items have figured out how to do, so you can compare your fucking stats. I don't know why this game doesn't do that. I don't know why this game has a weird radio menu. I don't know why while you're scrapping, it could just randomly change what item it's selecting, so you scrap something that you didn't mean to scrap. Good combat system. Level designs... Probably randomly generated. It's all right. It exists. Combat makes up for it. It's like the, the level design's kind of eh, but the combat makes it worth it. But then the UI drops it back down a few points. So it's, I don't know at what point to score this. I'm gonna give this like a C plus or a B minus. I'd say because it's like it is fun, but you have to tolerate shit that shouldn't be there. Developer, if you can, if you watch this video, if you have the capacity. Think about redesigning that UI. I don't know if the original PC game released like a number of years ago had a UI quite like this. This might be a Switch based issue. Or it might be an issue with the original PC release as well, I don't know. But uh... Yeah, cool game, mired by its... system. By its UI. UIs are exceptionally important, guys. You, pr you have a bad UI, it can bring down the whole experience, as we just saw here. That was Megabyte Punch.